absolutely beautiful. Here we are, we're gonna go swim in the pools of Venus. You can get to this beach, but you have to hike an hour and a half. the bats in there. Awesome. Climb up here, jump, and watch the sunrise. So cool. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Sardinia. Welcome to the beautiful town of Cala Ganone. This is the city where you stay at, where you can access some of the most beautiful beaches in Sardinia that are only accessible by getting there with a boat. You can rather book a tour, here's where you book them, or rent your own private boat if you want as well. I decided to book with a tour and go with one of the smaller boats instead of the huge boats because you can go inside the caves and it's a lot less people when you do show up at some of these incredible beaches. My tour starts tomorrow. My tour offers a chance to visit the grotto, but you have to buy a ticket separately from the national park officials from this booth right here. They're closed, but I'm gonna get mine first thing in the morning. Now, just a few steps from the port. Here's my hotel. I think it is a prime location, so I just wanna show you guys what that looks like really quick. I'll definitely do a full video on the hotel for those who wanna see. But for now, in this video, I at least want to show you the view from my room. So let's go check that out. Right outside the hotel is the port. That's where I parked the Audi. You can see the black Audi. And then that's where we leave in the morning for the trip. And then there's the booth where I got the tickets from. And then beyond that is a local beach. But first things first, I have some real important business to take care of. And here we are guys, finally reached it. Gotta do laundry. It's just part of traveling. You gotta clean house every once in a while, take care of your stuff. I just want to show everybody how beautiful the day is, the clearest of skies, not a cloud in the sky. It's really warm, and tomorrow, hopefully, weather remaining the same, we're going to have a fantastic day touring all these beaches. We go to the supermarket, get some water, and some snacks and stuff. Getting ready for tomorrow's adventures, I want to show everybody what the city and its beaches look like. Punk Rock. There we go. Yeah. See, it's in the afternoon right now. It's about you know, three past three o'clock and nothing's open. Everybody's waiting to open for dinner. It's like most of the town is, is closed besides a few shops. So heads up if you're hungry, you know, in the afternoon, good luck. <laughs> Yes, I'm hungry, by the way. This is the spot to eat at night. How you say it? Zio Padrillo? But pizza and pasta restaurant, so we'll have to we'll have to go here. Everybody just having a good time, relaxing. Looks like these beachside restaurants are open. Nothing in town's open. So I think we're gonna have to stop at one of them and get something to eat. Okay, I found a pizza restaurant that's open that you can sit seaside. It's named after bands, Led Zeppelin Pizza, Metallica. You can see a few others, The Clash. So I was kind of checking them out. I think I'm gonna go with the Moby. You can have a pizza named after um, Nirvana. I'll admit it, I ordered the Moby just because I like some of his music. I guess he was cool enough to get a pizza named after him. Yeah, 
They're not the best beaches, but what a nice place to relax, you know? You get past these rocks here, and then looks like there's some really nice swimming. Rent some kayaks. I think this beach is the last one that you could reasonably access on foot and the rest of that are a big hike in or unaccessible unless by boat. Okay, pretty cool. So I just wanted to show everybody a little taste of the town and beaches in Calaganone. And we'll be head, we'll head back to the hotel, get some rest. And tomorrow morning, it's game on. But yeah, nice little beautiful town. This place is awesome. Instead, we're going to check out a few of the caves before we get to our first beach. the bats in there. Oh, this is so cool. This is why you want to go with one of the smaller shore boats so they can get inside these caves just like this and really get to see through the big boats where they can't get near it. Absolutely beautiful.
arrived at a new spot. Water couldn't look any more beautiful, I swear. Here we are, we're gonna go swim in the pools of Venus for a little bit. Get to this beach, but you have to hike an hour and a half. Boats can't go near it. Welcome to the beach, Kala Mariulu. This beach has the one right in front of me where you can jump off the little cliff. And there's also one right behind me, which we'll check out in a little bit. Beautiful. What's up guys, we're at Calaluna Beach now, known for its clear water, dramatic coastline, but most famous for its sea caves. Let's go check them out. Crazy, goes pretty far back in here. Wow. I heard the coolest thing to do is you could hike here actually, and then sit in here, watch the sunrise. This one, not so deep. This one looks super deep, crazy. I'm not sure exactly how deep, but it seems like they go at least a good two, maybe even 300 feet back, like a football field. Whenever you see a postcard of this place, this is usually the shot from within the cave into the beautiful waters. Another one. Don't think you need to walk in this one as well. Looks pretty rad though. Another one and another one that is. So it's four huge ones so far. So cool.
and another one. It's just so unique how these caves are just carved out of these limestone mountains. Really incredible. Looks like there's some more down there in the water too. Really cool beach. Hope you guys enjoy checking it out. Okay, that's pretty much the end of the chore, but a few of us have tickets to go see the grotto, so the captain's gonna take us there and drop us off. So if you get a separate ticket, you're allowed to come to the grotto and take a tour, which looks awesome. So they do it group by group, so we're about to go. So check it out. So we are inside uh, a limestone mountain. This is a limestone cave, limestone rock. So the most important mineral inside the rock is uh, calcium carbonate, or calcium carbonate. And the cave was made through the erosion of the underground river. Okay, so fresh water, not salt water, only fresh water. The fresh water of the river that's full of debris like uh, sand uh, rocks, debris has Eroded and yeah, the cave system is 70 kilometers long. Today we're just, we allow the public to see it, one kilometer of it. So we go one kilometer back to Kalaluna Beach and then one kilometer back. a brown mark it was uh, the oldest seed level salt water many years ago about 100,000 years ago due to global warming climate change and rock movement during the ice period okay talking about the, the name of this cave okay uh, so its name comes from the animal found here until eight uh, years the Mediterranean monsil do you know the monsil I think yes or zikum yeah, okay. yeah, the caves are named after the monk seals who used to inhabit the cave, but they've been eradicated since the 1980s. I actually think fishermen killed them all off. They're on the list of critically endangered species, but have been sighted elsewhere in the Mediterranean. Hopefully they could start bringing them back. By the way, this is not the same species as the monk seals found in the Hawaiian Islands. In the modern era, people have been visiting the cave since the 1950s, but some petroglyphs have been found that suggest people have been here since the Neolithic period. Maybe the giants of Sardinia were here as well. Absolutely incredible. It's the word of the trip. You can see the dripping water coming from above dripping off the stalactites from the surface through the mountain. The caves are only open to the public from April through October. So heads up if you want to come visit. Unless you get special permission, there's also places in the cave where you can dive as well, but also need special permission.
So cool. Fresh water. So when it rains, the fresh water seeps inside the limestone rock, instead of rock goes into the stone. And uh, when it arrives on the ceiling of the cave, fresh water is uh, full of calcium carbonate because fresh water takes with it calcium carbonate from the rock. So when it arrives on the ceiling of the cave, drop by drop, okay, can deposit calcium carbonate to create uh, stalactites that fall from the ceiling of the cave or stalagmites that rise from the ground. Sometimes a stalactite meets a stalagmite, so we have a column. This is as far as the tour will take us to this subterranean beach. This is where the monk seals would mate and give birth. Goes all the way to Kalaluna Beach and then beyond where it meets other caves, which all join up. Now we get to walk back the way that we came and get another look at everything. in town remember the pizza and pasta place I showed you yesterday it's time to go check it out host came through with a special request just for me. So good. Well, I guess that'll do it for the day. I hope everybody enjoyed checking out the city of Calagdanone and of course, all the awesome beaches and the caves that we visited today. Tomorrow's gonna be a very special day. If you remember the beach, Calagalorce, which I said is only accessible by a hike. It's a world UNESCO heritage site beach. They only allow 250 people a day to do the hike and assess the beach, well guess what? I've got tickets and we're gonna go check it out. In the meantime, check out these other videos. Hope everybody enjoyed everything and I'll see you on the next one.